Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are back with another of these brand new Recur figures. This is the final of the newest wave, like the first wave of these, because there are two more coming out at the end of September. And uh, this time we've got ourselves Elmer the Brachiosaurus. You can see the images here on the front. You know, we've got like pretty much the traditional at this point, I would think box art for a recur release where we have the really nice image of the figure and then you've got the name of the dinosaur and the species name something that's interesting about this one though if you look over here the last two were 135th scale this one is 165th scale so it is a little bit different a little bit you know uh not quite to scale with the other two, so that's something to keep in mind. And when it comes to a Brachiosaurus, again, I'm not too surprised that uh, it wouldn't be 135th scale because that would be a pretty big figure, and I think they're trying to make this something that doesn't go crazy in the price range and can still be nice and affordable for everyone to add a really nice Brachiosaurus to their collection. But the rest of the box art is pretty much the standard at this point. You can see the Recur logo up there on the top, the information along with the barcode on the bottom and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy going on, so let's pop this box open and check it out so first of all just like with the others we've got the card here you can see a beautiful image of the brachiosaurus here on the front and then the information and everything here on the back as we have seen so far through all of these different recur releases and then our brachiosaurus itself and i must say this one might end up being the sleeper hit for this series. This is probably like that one figure that I was looking at and thinking, well, I really need to see that one in person before truly judging it. And uh, I feel like it is so much nicer in hand than I was expecting it to be. I think the one thing that was somewhat, uh, I don't know if I'd say concerning, but I couldn't really get a good look at the face or the head or anything in any of the images that Recur had shared prior and uh, I now have had, obviously, the chance to take a look at the face and the head, and I think it looks so much better than I was expecting it to. And yet again is another gorgeous figure here from Recur. Definitely excited to have a Brachiosaurus out from them now. So without further ado, let's jump to a closer look and we'll check it out from there. So starting up here at the head, exactly where I was just mentioning, you can see the head sculpt looks really quite nice. And the colors of this one are like shockingly nice like not that I expected it to be bad but you wouldn't expect you know variations of orange to look so good on a Brachiosaurus but they have actually found a way to do that again I think the actual tones of color look quite nice so again starting up here in the head sculpt like I just mentioned a moment ago you can see the detail looks really nice you got lots of variation to the skin texture you can see the eyes are painted with a yellow you can also see a nice black pupil there's a bit of a darker brown up there on the top of the head you can even see more of the darker brown there on the lower jaw looking at the underside of the neck you can see the throat and everything right there as we lead back into the neck of the Brachiosaurus we start to pick up a brown striping moving back you again have some nice skin wrinkles and folds and stuff leading back into that area again really impressive skin texture just like all of these figures have had like the detail on these have been fantastic we do have a lighter tone that also starts to show up it's like a light blue that starts to stripe down the course of the neck we again uh, darken the coloration as well because we start out with a light orange and then we start out with those brown stripes but then we transition transition to a darker brown kind of similar to what we see with that stripe and then we also have the uh, light bluish tones as well as what appears to be like an off-white kind of mixing with those and there are also some even darker variations of brown that you can see kind of like spotting and patterning as you move down the course of the neck of the Brachiosaurus, which also looks really nice. Moving along the underside, you can see a lighter tone following up the center of the throat right there. You can see very impressive skin detail as we lead down. Basically on each side of the throat, there are like really nice skin wrinkles and folds and stuff. Again, showing how impressive the detailing aspect of these new recurve figures are. And looking right here, that skin texture looks absolutely fantastic moving down through the course of the neck of the dinosaur. As we continue to lead through, you can also see, again, really subtle variation of color. Super smooth transitions leading down. We also have that darker brown continuing to follow along the back and the spinal column of the Brachiosaurus. Leading down, that bluish tone tapers away. Well, not even tapers away. It just ends pretty much right after this point. You can see, again, how good the actual application of the paint, though, is. It's really smooth when it comes to the application of not only the patterning, but the transitioning as well. As we lead down into the stomach, you can see... 
we lighten to a lighter tone, obviously, in the stomach right here, which is, again, really smooth as far as the transitioning between those colors goes. And look at how good the skin detail is, especially, like, right here in this spot. That detail is fantastic as you lead down. You've got the wrinkling at the bottom of the neck, more wrinkling as you lead down here into the front leg. As we lead down, that front leg looks very large, very impressive. You can see the musculature is definitely very impressive. And considering how large this dinosaur is, it's going to need some pretty hefty muscles to hold it up. And you can see them tensing here as the dinosaur standing here very proud. You can also see a darker brown kind of running down there through those orangish tones of the legs we can also see that we transition to a darker variation of like a brown as we move down into the foot leading down you can see the foot looks really quite nice the toes are sculpted nicely the nails don't actually have any paintwork to them the nails are basically you know colored the same way as the foot and then as we move back up you can see more skin wrinkling here in the bottom of the stomach the skin stretching here off of the stomach as the leg is trailing back here really like these skin wrinkles at the bottom of the stomach as we lead along there are more skin wrinkles as you move up again following in front of the thigh of the dinosaur we can make out the hip bone right there the darker variation of like an orangish brown moving down along the top of the brachiosaurus we have nice muscle definition in the rear leg as well and they've defined it again with some dark airbrushing that's just really subtle as far as the application goes we transition again to the brownish tone it's almost like a uh I'm not even sure how to term it. Almost like a reddish brown, but kind of not at the same time. It's hard to really describe that tone of brown. You can see the knee right there. And again, we lead down into the foot sculpt here for the rear foot. And then we lead back up and we've got more of that patterning. But this time, rather than the blue, we have a light gray that starts on the underside of the tail and stripes up and then again ends. But then we have a few more stripes as you lead out through the length of the tail. There's also, again, really nice uh, variation of color, even a lighter tone of orange as you move down here to the underside of the tail there's a nice curve to the tail as well as you lead out nothing overly dramatic but looks quite nice as we look over here at the opposing side of the head again the brachiosaurus looks pretty much just as it did on the first side over here there is a bit of a turn to the head and uh, neck but not a drastic one or anything like that that's going to cause any sort of a difference as we move down through the course of the neck you can see again the variation of color that has been applied the nice striping effect moving down again flashiness on the sauropod but really naturalistic flashiness i would say and then as we move down into the legs you can see again the uh, leg here just planted in the ground tensing all of the muscles in that leg again wrinkling all the skin here as that leg is kind of planted into the ground we have that really subtle addition as far as like this subtle uh, paint application to highlight the muscle definition right there again leading down to the foot the legs are a little bit closer together on this side compared to what we saw on the first side so you can see how the skin is kind of scrunched there together in the stomach and again look at how good that skin detail is absolutely phenomenal looking skin texture through the course of this brachiosaurus and then we move out again into the tail and you can see the tail doesn't look too different on this side compared to the first side because again the tail is pretty much straight out with a slight curve to it kind of leads up and then curves back out as well but that is definitely a really nice brachiosaurus i love the variation of color on the underside as well you can see a light tone moving along the center but then like orangish tones out around the side and as you move down here into the chest you can kind of see almost like dark pinkish tones following along the side of the uh, you know the skin here in the chest and following along the front of the legs and stuff man this thing looks so nice again I'm so impressed with how good the paint apps on this look again I wouldn't really expect orange to work so nicely for a sauropod but they definitely pulled it off on this brachiosaurus as far as a size goes for a length from the tail to the head you are looking at about 13 inches or 33 centimeters. And then for a height to the top of the head, about eight and three quarter inches or a little over 22 centimeters for a size comparison. There is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the attack pack Clovisaurus, Robert Muldoon, and the collect a human being next to our Brachiosaurus from Recur. And what I really like is, as you can see, you know, for a species like this, you often expect them to be absolutely gigantic, but you don't have that here. So this gives many people the opportunity to put a Brachiosaurus into their collection if they don't want one that's gigantic, if maybe they just don't have the room for it. You can see this is a much more modest size for a Brachiosaurus. For 
anybody's collection that may be lacking one. Now, as you can very clearly see, we have the Papo Brachiosaurus. And as I mentioned, again, most Brachiosaurus figures are going to tower over this one because usually when people make Brachiosaurus, they always make them gigantic, which can be fun. But that also leaves out so many people when it comes to acquiring one because not everybody has the room for a giant Brachiosaurus. So it is so nice to see, again, a little bit of a switch up here when it comes to the recurve version, obviously, again, a lot smaller than your average Brachiosaurus. So we'll just compare with a few other sauropods that are a bit smaller. Here we have the Schleich Saltosaurus, which is a fairly popular figure, I think, from Schleich, but a bit of an older one. But when it comes to more recently released sauropods, we have the How Long Good Amargosaurus, which you can see is still a bit smaller than our Brachiosaurus. We've also got a classic when it comes to the Invicta Diplodocus next to the Recur Brachiosaurus. On top of that, we have the PNSO Mementisaurus. This is the newer Mementisaurus that PNSO had released, which you can see next to the Brachiosaurus. And then again, another sauropod that you're definitely going to see coming in at a bit of a larger size. We have the Collecte Ruyengasaurus. And then for one final comparison, we have all three of the recently released recurve figures here next to each other, just to give you one idea again of how they all size up next to each other. So this brand new recurve Brachiosaurus is yet again another really nice figure. And as I had said, all of these figures were really nice and I now cannot wait to see the other two that are coming at the end of September, which would be the Tyrannosaurus Rex and Dimorphodon. It's really nice to see that not only did we get a Ceratopsy and not only did we get a marine reptile, but we also got a sauropod here straight out of the gate. And then next month we'll have a theropod as well as a flying reptile. So, you know, really cool to see just so much variety instantly in the Recur line. And I definitely know they have a lot of plans as far as other upcoming figures. So we will have a pretty hefty line from Recur at some point in the near future but i'm loving the way that these have started out the brachiosaurus again is really quite nicely done you've got a nice naturalistic walking pose for it as it's just you know kind of wandering through i think the pose looks good they've captured every ounce of detail that i would expect to see when it comes to the pose and positioning again like the muscles tensing and everything depending on the way that the legs are positioned it depends on the way that you see the muscles tensing and i think they've captured it all very nicely the skin detail as well is really well done there's a lot of it and it's extremely vibrant on the figure the coloration might be one of the most surprising things for me and that's the fact that orange somehow has worked nicely on a sauropod i wouldn't have expected that to work nicely but it does look natural it looks like it could be the color i would expect to see for this dinosaur so got to give them props for that overall again the application of the paint is also nicely done there's a lot of variation of color really smooth transitions nice natural application of the patterning and again you can tell just like with the others that there was a lot of love and care put into the paint apps of this brachiosaur so just like with the other two if you are interested in grabbing this i will include a link in the description to where you can do that so make sure you check that link go grab this brachiosaurus and also like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching